Hey guys, welcome to another drawing video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a chibi. We're drawing Naruto today. First, you have to use a round object to draw three circles, just like a snowman. For example, you can use a cup. Then follow the steps to draw a face. You have to draw two lines uh, uh, on the circle first. Then you have to draw a kind of cross and then add, add an extra line beneath the first horizontal line. It's the way most people draw a human. Then you have to draw two arcs at the top and and uh, put put a line at the end of each one and then put and then put um, another one beneath it. And that's going to be the eyes. Be sure to make it very big so it looks cute. That's why it's a chibi. Then draw an eye between the two arcs you've made. Be sure to make the eye c a touch both of the ends of the arcs because it's a chibi, it has to have big pupils. Then you can add a small circle at the top or at the top corner of each eye. You can make it left or right depending on which way this this the lights coming from but be careful if you put the the two bubbles uh, on the left they, they have to be both on the left and then you can draw a, a big a bigger oval uh, to make it like the inside of the pupil it's normal that sometimes the the the, the big oval uh, that's not on the side you draw the small uh, circle on. Like, for example, the right, the right eye, the, sm the big oval inside it, it's normal that uh, it doesn't touch the small, uh, the small bubble. Then you can draw a line as a nose and you can draw the mouth. But som sometimes the chibi artists, they don't draw noses. Then I'm drawing the whiskers, but you don't have to draw them if you're not drawing a Naruto. Don't make the neck too big. It has to be a thin neck. The neck is also slight, slightly resembles is the chibi character's arm, which we will draw later. But don't make it too thick. When you finish its uh, shoulders, use two lines to finish its torso also. Then you have to draw its waist, uh, which looks like underpants. Leave two holes uh, like, that looks like arcs on the underpants uh, so you can draw the legs. On this position, I'm drawing Naruto with one leg in the back and one leg in the front. If you're not experienced, I recommend you to not draw this and draw a normal person. Then you have to draw the arms. The arms are, look like carrots too. But if you're not ex experienced, also don't do this. But if you think you can, you can do this pose. But if you're not, you can just do um, the two arms in the sides. If you're not experienced, you can draw them like this, which I also made an example. 
You can also do poses like he's holding a sword or anything. Then you can draw his feet, which are super simple. Then you can draw the hair and the cosmetics and stuff. If if you're not drawing Naruto, you can you can skip it to the hair part. Then you have to draw the hair. I don't recommend you to draw one hair at a time because in anime we don't do that. Instead, we do huge triangles that look like spikes. And that means huge groups of hair. Then you can start drawing the clothes. You can design your own. You can also add swords a kunai, shurikens, or even tails if you're drawing a furry. Then when you're finished, we can start the tracing it. It's super simple, but remember not to trace the circles and not the underwear. You can erase that after you finish tracing. Then you're finished. You can erase uh, all the, the other things that you haven't traced and aren't necessary. For example, the circles. You can color it, but uh, although in uh, most anime books, you don't color your pictures. Check out my Sasuke and Rock Lee art if you're looking for some inspiration. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you did, ring the bell.